Dear Mary, I hope this letter finds you. It has been days since the blood has driven into our ranks, and we are slowly but surely losing our will to fight against this supernatural entity of undead men. Only a few of six regiments stationed near our area survived the aftermath of the quarantine nearby a blight infested town or city. We stashed ourselves at the nearby fort, but lost contact with other companies. I will continue to fight the undead mass of creatures, but I fear this might be my last letter towards you. Here's truly your brother, Jackson. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I would like to introduce you to the newest muskets and zombies game on the block, Last Dawn. For now, the game is still undergoing development, as it is still a little buggy, but still enjoyable, to say the least. So what makes this game unique? Well, this game takes place during the American Civil War, so we have cap lock muskets and revolvers. The main game mode currently is just endless, and there are quite a few endless maps in the game, which are only 3 maps. Maps being Fort Pulaski, Pragris Mills, and Dunkish Church. Currently there are only four classes, being Musician, Ranker, Pioneer, and Officer. I'm going to break down these classes. Beginning with the Officer class, the Officer class is equipped with a Colt Army Model 1860 revolver and an Officer Saber. The Officer, the Colt revolver is a pistol that has multiple rounds in the cylinder. To be more specific, it has six rounds in the cylinder and has all right penetrative capabilities. Although this is kind of weighed down because of the long reload being 22 seconds. The officer saber, although being exclusive to the officer class, has no other capabilities other than being a normal saber, or just having a cooler model. Moving on from the officer, we shall begin to explain the pioneer class. The pioneer class is not equipped with any firearms only having a high damage melee weapon being an axe. Their secondary is the hammer, which is primarily used for building barricades and spikes, but it can fix structures as well. Their role is a defensive class that builds barricades for the rest of the survivors. The next class is the musician. It is a support type class created for giving buffs to the team. The musician can have a fife or a torch as their way of giving buffs to the team. In my own honest opinion, the 5 would be the better and preferable option as it gives better a better buff to the rest of the survivors than the torch. The next one would be the rank class. The rank class is the standard infantrymen during the Civil War. They are a very versatile class that can be used in the back line sniping down special infected or normal infected. They are equipped with a cap lock musket and a bayonet, as well as a saber. That is pretty much it. <clears throat> Moving on from the classes, we'll, we have the maps. As I have said, there are only endless maps. As of this video's creation, there are only three maps available. Fort Pulaski, Dunkish Church, and Pragris Mills. Fort Pulaski has you playing as Union soldiers defending the fort from the hordes of undead coming your way. You can have easy, easy vantage points as the tall walls of the structure makes it easy for you to spot and shoot down the zombie threat. This is easily one of the better maps compared to the last one. Moving on from Fort Pulaski, Donkish Church. Donkish Church has you playing as the Union once again, defending the church from zombies. There's an open field where zombies assault your position. This map is very fun when you play with your friends because you can easily just use line battle tactics against the zombies. The Mills is such a smaller map compared to the other two. There are no actual advantage points except for being in the house. But being in the house is more boring to say the least. This map is more like a map where you just have to skirmish against the zombies upon assaulting your position. It's not a large open map like the other two, so yeah. 
Moving on from this, we obviously have to go over the zombie types. Currently, there are only three zombie types. That being the bomber, the normal zombie, and the screamer. The bomber is what you expect it to be. A bomber type zombie that implodes on impact from a bullet. It can do melee attacks as well, if it's close enough to you. Which shouldn't be a problem because they're easily visible because of the glowing light that em emitates from their stomachs. Making it easy for you to see them and shoot them. The next type of zombie is a normal zombie. These zombies can grapple onto you, similar to what happens in Guts and Black Powder, the inspiration of the game I'm currently talking about. These zombies can either hit you or grab you slowly, draining you of your life force as they bite into you. As far as I know, there are no infection mechanics in the game as I have seen, as I have not seen it yet. The next zombie variant is the Screamer variant. The Screamer variant is by far the most interesting zombie variant in my opinion because of its ability to summon zombies from command. This ability is kinda annoying when you're about to kill one of the last zombies, but it's just, but it just summons more from the ground to kill you. This game is still in early development, and I highly recommend it for yourself to play, because it is one of the better recently dropped games I've played. Anyways, I will be posting a video of me trying to obtain the two badges of the game to get the badge regiment. Thank you for watching.